Hello, SkyDuck. Uh, my name is Susan Wang. I am a geographer and remote sensing professor at USC. In this short talk, I plan to share some interesting results of three-dimensional tree survey using drones. A more professional name of drone technology is small airman um, aircraft systems, or SUAS. A drone flies over an individual object or the landscape to collect highly overlapped photos, which I prefer calling them images. With this set of images, SUAS technology enables the uh, 3D view of the object or the landscape. In this process, the most fundamental technique is structure for motion, SFM, which is a photogrammetry approach that is often uh, used in computer vision. Due to its flexibility of user control and low cost and other benefits, SUAS is also called a personal remote sensing in geoscience field. In this talk, I use the drone images collected on a dam uh, to demonstrate its usage for 3D survey. Sweet Bee Pond Dam is a private dam in Southwest Columbia. Our team made four flight missions in the past two years. We tested three drones, a Mavic Pro, Phantom 4 Pro, and Matrix 100. We tried both regular cameras and a multi-spectral sensor, Red Edge M, on board these drones. Ground control points are collected using a survey grid GISS. Pixel 4D mapper is used to calibrate all images and align them all together to the correct locations by referring to ground control points. In our example, the Mavic Pro mission in September 2020 collects um, 237 images. Due to the internal noises and the environmental noises, 22 of them cannot be calibrated, leaving all these red boxes or missing images that cannot be used for the mission. Um, calibration error is a common problem for drone flies over trees. Pixel 4D Mapper um, delivers two products. One is the auto mosaic of the whole study area. When zooming in, we can see all these details of the uh, tree crowns and um, individual trees because it's high resolution image. The second product is point cloud. In this re-cloud editor, a tree is actually a combination of many, many 3D points with XYZ locations. For uh, this example mission, we get 6.3 million points over the dam. Using the point cloud, we could build a digital surface model or DSM that records the um, uh, height and XYZ location of each point. ArcGIS Pro is very powerful for 3D visualization. It displays the um, individual tree clumps by coloring the points at different elevation uh, above the sea level. Dam crest over here and also the um, bare ground open area without tree covers, um, they are in the dark, uh, dark blue here. The horizontal view shows individual tree crowns uh, in the woodland, um, indicating a closed canopy in this area. The vertical profile um, crossing from the crest to the downslope here shows how the tree canopy distributed along the line. The points are almost continuous in the profile. One reason is the very high resolution um, point data. Another reason is that, uh, again, it is a dense canopy in this area. So once we know the uh, ground surface elevation, like over here, um, we can get tree height by subtracting it from DSM. 
bare earth surface is another topic and I'm not going to touch it here. For 3D tree analysis, I recommend a free software package, Fusion LDW. It is released and maintained by Pacific Northwest Research Station, USDA Forest Service. It is designed for LiDAR analysis, but per my test, it works perfectly fine with SUES data. The uh, software package handles point cloud data, raster images like drone photos, and vector ship files that can be easily exchanged with um, ArcGIS. In this talk, I quickly show some tree outputs from this output, uh, this package. The first one here is an example of the uh, 3D imaging concept. So basically it displays both the true color of the tree and also the height in a 3D scope. So 3D imaging helps us to uh, get a better sense of the tree cover in the study area. The next one is a um, canopy height map interacting with the moving also image. The tallest tree over here is about 30 meters high. So remember the author image is another product of um, uh, PIX4D. In this example, some trees like a pine, um, they remain um, bright green um, in September 22nd. Uh, tulip poplar starts to lose in color, but still green in most of the, the, the area. Black gum becomes more um, leaf off and showing the pinkish tone over here. So apparently there are a majority of black gums on the dam. Um, this is a small subset of canopy on top of the earth surface. So canopy height is easily extracted in between from the DSM here uh, to the um, bare surface model here. So very clear individual tree crowns and height information. The uh, fusion package um, also allows us to target a single tree and to extract its height, its crown shape, and also very detailed um, polygon of the canopy. The next few slides are um, ArcGIS outputs, and there are some tree maps extracted from point cloud. And this one is the canopy height model. Um, and um, again, the woodland has almost closed canopy, um, but individual trees can still be identified, although uh, quite a few of them, they start to be uh, continuously um, distributing together. The um, uh, next one here um, is a 3D view of the tree canopy with true color extracted from both the point cloud and author image. The tree tops are defined as the topmost point of each tree and uh, it is marked as the uh, cone here. From further analysis like image segmentation and watershed segmentation approaches, individual tree crowns are outlined. Each tree crown has a tree top uh, marked here in the polygon. The author image can also be further processed in the remote sensing to identify uh, the tree types. Flight mission on Sweet Bee Pond Dam identifies 286 trees with majority uh, are black gum, then um, tulip poplar, then pine. There are also some other uh, trees that with very limited numbers. Um, so that's it about the um, results. The finally, a technical message um, for this short talk. So the, um, it is possible to um, use drones for 3D tree survey. In our test, one mission using Mavic Pro can extract multiple measures, tree height, crown size, tree top, 
and species of the woodland. However, the flight mission should be well planned ahead. For example, uh, to make a good mission, we need a survey grade GNSS unit. And uh, we also need to consider weather conditions. Overcast days are always preferred in the sunny days for less shadow noises and better calibration. Windy days should be avoided. Also, for tree survey, it is better to fly drones at higher altitude, uh, for example, at least 300 feet high and at least 80% overlays in both front lap and end lap. Image calibration in dense forest is always a big issue. If budget allows, I would suggest higher quality drones for tree survey. In our experiments, Matrix 100 with the expensive red edge um, sensor is better than the Phantom 4 Pro and the $1,000 Mavic Pro always has the highest calibration errors and sometimes giving us um, quite annoying results. Lastly, uh, we would like to thank Mr. Uh, Robert Liv Livingston who supports our research and grants us to access his dam um, property. We appreciate this support very much. Um, that's it for the talk and thank you for your attention.